Welcome back to Mets, Nets, Jets, D podcast. Uh, coming to you on a Monday, September 30th. Um, we're here for this Monday night showdown. I hope you guys watched my video um, on right before week four. I gave out four stacks. Um, most of them didn't do good. I, I had it. They all made sense. The Russell Wilson stack. Um, the Patrick Mahomes. That one didn't come through. It was just a very odd games. But if you listen at the end, I gave my one last stack uh, was the Jared Goff since he was home. I did the Jared Goff with um, the Robert Woods and Cooper Cup, as you can see in this tournament. I wish I would have played a little bit more of that stack. Uh, let me go to the exact spot right here. As you see, Jared Goff, 3.9%. He probably was even like round, round about the same in any... Um, uh, tournament because no one really thought this would happen but Jared Goff at home um, definitely is in play the fact that they scored 95 points was awesome Jared Goff to Cooper Cup and Robert Woods I said this in the video I said pair them two with Goff and bring it back with Godwin Godwin smash play I have him in every single fantasy league I love this guy uh, this guy's a huge weapon Bruce Arians already came out and said he sees him uh, playing 100% of the snaps and is going to um, get 100 catches this year. And so far this year, he's been awesome. 12 catches, 172 yards, two TDs. Uh, the only two problems was Kenny Stills getting injured early in the mm -hmm. second quarter. And then Delaney Walker didn't do anything. So that's fine. But pay attention. I gave great advice. I'm going to try to do the same thing for week five. The golf stack went off. And then I also said... Play um, McCaffrey and Eckler in every lineup, okay? If you just want to just get cash, you, you'll set yourself up great. This is how you get into the into the green. Lock yourself up two running backs that are going to get high volume catches and rushing attempts, and you will build your lineup from there. And stop getting cute with all these cheap plays. Get your guy, get the guys that are going to get guaranteed work. And guarantee touches okay also to go into the showdown that I did last night I did this really quick uh, I don't know why people were picking Dallas to win maybe because they were uh, undefeated so far that's cool and that the Saints didn't have Drew Brees but that doesn't matter when the Saints are home this is an they're another type of animal the fact that they have Bridgewater he's a game manager that means he's not gonna freaking light it up they're going to stay close, and they're going to run the ball and play defense, especially at home. Going to run the ball and play defense. As you can see, I have Saints defense. I was literally like one playoff. If you go to the top, uh, number one right here, the only difference was Cowboys D and the fact that I had Taysom Hill. Like, I was nine points away from winning first place. Um, this is what you got to do in these showdowns. Like, you got to analyze the game take every factor from both teams and make a lineup so for today for monday night football cincinnati at pittsburgh you got to think about it pittsburgh showed a lot of grit and fight against uh the undefeated 49ers they almost came away with a win they forced a lot of turnovers with the new acquisition of minka fitzpatrick uh the fact that cincinnati has one of the worst run defenses in the league this is a smash spot for James Conner, for someone that uh, people are probably going to shy away from since how bad he's been all year long. If you just look at his game log, 10. He's, he doesn't even have over 50 yards rushing yet. All right. This is going to be my captain in every lineup. I feel confident about it. I trust him. It's got to be. This is, has to be a get right spot. Pittsburgh 0-3 at home. Uh, Bill Cowher is going to be honored today. They, I think. That helps just seeing an old coach in there. They want to just show some grit and fight for him as well. Uh, give me James Conner at the captain spot. Um, I would definitely pair him with... Um, Pittsburgh doesn't have a good run defense as well. I will bring it back with Joe Mixon. Uh, I do like... The act. See, Dalton, they're going to throw the ball a lot. So you can... You can kind of go with the Steelers D to pair your running back with the Steelers defense because Dalton is uh, turnover prone. Um, 
Let's see. I think we can fit Juju in there. So I like Juju. Let's see if we can fit that in there. Deontay Johnson is a good sleeper at 6'6". Six, six. Uh, James Washington has catch problems. Uh, Auden Tate is a decent, cheap option. Um, Tyler Eifert doesn't get that many targets. But uh, he's, nah, he's, not, he's a decent play. Uh, and then kicker as well. Because I see... They do like to throw a lot. This is going to be a tough game. As long as you have James Conner... And Mixon. I want to mm -hmm. lock those mm -hmm. two up. And if not Mixon, you could go with... Because uh, I expect them to be down. I expect Pittsburgh to have the lead. Uh, have this game in control. Um, Tyler Boyd is a decent option. To bring it back with. Well, let's not do that. Connor, Mixon, Steelers defense. Mm, I like Deontay Johnson. You can just mix and match. As long as I keep this core right here, you can mix and match your last three flex spots because I can't fill out the whole lineup for you guys. Uh, I want to steer you in the right direction. Connor, as long as you have the captain right, you're going to be in the cash. And I think Connor is definitely in a smash position. So if you're a better this game, uh, for DK Sportsbook, they got the odds boost with Connor to score a TD. I think that's going to be his first one of the year. Let's check the game. No, he already has one. That'll be his second one of the year. Um, they have Connor with a TD and the win. I think that is very possible. I like the Pittsburgh to win, and they might even cover it. It's only three and a half. So I think that's very doable. But Pittsburgh gets their first win today. All right, guys. Um, that's my thoughts on tonight's showdown. Hopefully, I do good, and I'll, 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 show, I'll do a video on my plays. But I'm still mulling this over uh, to fill to fill out the rest of my flex positions. But I like Connor with the combination of the Steelers defense. Because um, I, don't, I don't really trust Mason Rudolph. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's who I like today. Hopefully it goes well. We'll see. Uh, thank you guys for checking in. Follow me on Twitter at MetsNetsJSD. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to do another video coming up soon for week five. I got to analyze the week five slate. Don't forget, uh, go to rundfs.com. Get yourself connected. Sign up. All right. Check for the prices that you feel comfortable with with signing up with RunDFS. And then um, download that Discord app. Get in touch with people that really know what they're talking about. Just brainstorm. You know, just bounce ideas off of everyone. And you'll get a better perspective mm -hmm. of of who to play and uh, which way to go when you're doing these tournaments, when you're doing these bets, okay? Thank you so much. Peace out. See you later.